Hello lovely people. Oh, let me turn the microwave off. I forgot that I had it on. <laughs> Okie dokie. Today we're going to try and work with discoloration rather than against it. You can never work against it. It always wins in the end. <sighs> have a few soaps to make and then I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Probably just Go and feel sorry for myself, I think. <laughs> uh, I set myself up for failure. It's just what I do. And now I'm mentioning this because the um, the lie was already in this when I turned the video on. So I'll turn the camera on, whatever, however you want to say it. I don't really care. Although obviously I do because I pointed it out. <laughs> Um, just incorporating it fairly well. I don't know why I don't really, I don't know why I don't know anything apparently. Um, yeah, so this is Aussie Bum and I cannot remember who but whomever, if you're watching this video, thank you. If not, she may not be watching this video. Someone did actually show me the, how much it discolours and it does discolour a fair amount. So, um, it, it, was, a, it was a pretty gross colour. So I thought what I will do is I will colour and fragrance the majority of the soap with orange, a lot of orange, and um, yeah, and then um, keep some aside and colour it with yellow and not put any fragrance in it and do like a drop swirl and see what happens. I mean, I don't even know how this behaves, so I, it may not even be viable to do a drop swirl. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, it was one of the, I could have done it green and gold, I guess, you know, because it's Aussie, but, uh, but I thought that was a little too on the nose, and I thought orange and yellow are kind of like, you know, out in the sun colours, so I, I sort of think it's, it, it's, it's, I feel like it's like a suntan, I, I know this sounds weird, but this is where my, this is where my brain is, so we're going with orange and yellow, I don't know what that's got anything to do with a suntan, but right -o. I haven't mixed this much. Mm, I'd say it's mostly emulsified, but you can see there's still oils that haven't been incorporated on the stick blender there. So I'm not worried about that because we are going to do more stick blending uh, before we put the fragrance in. I just want to pour off this, um, oh, that's one of those ones with the weird sides in it. Uh, pour off some of this for the yellow now. We're going to do... Uh, not, a, not a lot, enough that even if it's discolours, you still should be able to see it. So, that way, hopefully it'll still not be completely gross. We'll go with, with a nice bright yellow as well. And we might even put a little bit of yellow liquid in there as well. The liquid is from Heirloom. And in this one, we might do the same with orange liquid. You gotta be careful with liquid. It does tend that all that always going in there. Uh, liquids sometimes bleed uh, into the other parts of your soap and can sometimes create more coloured lather than just. Um, I don't know. Well, my brain just stopped then. Uh, then micas. So I'm putting a lot in here. That's like a whole tablespoon. It, it's not going to stop the discoloration, but maybe it'll just colour the discoloration so it's not completely disgusting. I mean, it's a pretty nice colour. Okay, so if this thickens, it'll kind of be interesting. If it thickens a little bit, it'll be okay um, because. It's always, you always get really interesting effects when you have uh, two different consistencies mixed together. I'm going to go off camera now because I was too lazy. I have an actual uh, bigger bottle of the Aussie Bum and I was too lazy to measure it out. So I'm just going to just pour it out of this bowl, uh, out of this bottle into this bowl. I'll be back. It is really nice. Um, it's fairly subtle. That's very subtle. Oh, there you go. I can smell it now. 
Right, so this is a 3% uh, Shay has said you can soap with up to 5% of these It's very, very subtle I'm just going to do 3% I was a bit worried about wearing gloves today. I have done, um, not these ones, I have two different sets of gloves. And yesterday I had a really bad reaction to them. Um, I don't know whether it was just because they're a different brand. I've never had a reaction to latex before. So that was a little bit weird. Let's just get all this mixed in. It has thickened. It's not ridiculous. <laughs> I've put all of the bubbles in there. <laughs> That's why it looks like it. Though. You can't really say, can't really see it. You can see it's not particularly smooth. But I mean, it's not rising. It's just I always put a lot of bubbles in my soaps. So what I might do is, is do things off camera. Because why would you do things on camera when you make videos? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> mix now, I'm gonna move over here so I can pour this from a fairly good height like that and then this one now I'm going to bring it over a little bit <laughs> where am I going okay, that cords in the way and this one also I'm going to pour from a height and try and get it into that yellow and move it around a bit more. Like that. Just like that. It does smell good. But like I said, it's quite subtle. You may have to soap with the 5% with this one. Um, but it's it's quite nice. It's got this... It's kind of creamy, but not in a vanilla way. Like, does that make sense? It's kind of... It's nice. It's really nice. It's, it's one of the better coconuts I've smelt. So... And I'm pretty fussy when it comes to coconuts. I find most coconuts, like, they're always that um, sort of baked, toasted coconut smell, which I do not like. Or they smell like clag glue, which I do not like. <laughs> I mean, I like clag glue, but I don't like uh, soap smelling like it. Because I just don't think it's necessary to have soap that smells like clag glue. Alright, trying to get these to drop down in the soap, just because this has got no scent at all, so I don't want a heap of it sitting on the top of the soap. Not that it matters, because once you've got your soap out and you're using it, the, the, the top of the soap is not going to block the smell. <laughs> I don't even know why I was thinking that. Okay, well, I mean, I like the colours. I've made a little bit of mess. Not a lot. Probably a little bit too much for my likings. Managed to run some over, and that's really disgusting. Okay, I think we're just going to do. Um, it's still reasonably fluid, too. I mean,. You could work with this, I'd say. Yeah, no, I'm not hating on this fragrance at all, apart from the fact that it goes brown, which is a disappointment. Okay, so, let's do something a little bit different. Let's use this, which I have never released, and let's go... Like that, and then how do I do it again? So, like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'll clean off the sides in a minute, but uh, well, that was terrible. 
terrible. <laughs> That's really terrible. That's really hard to do. I wonder if it would be easier to do it that way. But then you're pushing all that stuff. Now nah, that's some work. God damn it, I've wrecked it now. Like that. <laughs> yeah, now I've wrecked it. It's definitely easier to come towards yourself. Oh my god, what have I done? That was too deep. There was just no necessity for that. <laughs> I done oh man you guys watch me just to laugh at me don't you I would I totally would just laugh at me I'm just gonna just oh well, it's something different messy but different it was a bit full as well it probably would be better if it wasn't quite so full There you have it, Aussie bum. Plays quite well. Didn't seem to rice, although I mix it up with the stick blender pretty quickly, so I'm not 100% sure. I'm go in there. Just gonna just try and knock that out just a little. Oh, so much for just using one bloody paper towel. <laughs> oh, all right. And the sprinkling of something. Let's go with this one. I'm not sure what this one's called, but it's kind of, you can see it's kind of red. Yeah, that's perfect. Alright. That thing wasn't that, that I used on the top of this was not designed for that. I just thought I might do that. <laughs> it's basically designed just to drag on the top of the soap. Oh, there you have it. I won't bother bringing it up. You think you can see it pretty well from there. Okay, I will see you momentarily for the cutting. Ta-da! Hello. I'm really surprised with this. Um, it, the, the person that showed me their Aussie bum, it was tan. Like, it, it, was, it was literally this colour. So, for this to be not that colour at all, like it, it hasn't, I mean it hasn't been 24 hours, um, it does have a little bit of discoloration around the edges, it's, it's oh it's minimal. Ew, I'm I'm surprised. I'm really really surprised. <laughs> Look at me with holes in my soap. What's new? <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, it's just. I, I mean, I love the swirl. Oh, I gotta say, I do really like that swirl. But um, I'm I'm kind of flabbergasted to be honest that it it's not. Uh, I fully expected to come down here and it be tan, and it's not. So. Even though I stuffed up the top. That's what it looks like on the individual bars. So it looks really nice. <laughs> and because you do that swirl, every single bar looks different. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm digging the swirl. Although, in all honesty, because you know me, I'm honest. Again, different, completely different swirl. I'm getting a bit sick of drop swirls. I've just, I think it's because I've just done so much. I know, it's a, it's a shock. <laughs> but yeah, I've just, I, I need to stretch myself. I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm not pushing myself with my soap design. So, it, you know, um, swirls are a safe place. So, I just make them a lot because I love them and they're easy and they look pretty. So I think it's time I tried something new, like still soaping, but just <laughs> some new designs or something. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't actually figured that out yet. Um, now the scent is still very minimal. 
Um, I would absolutely 100% suggest that you soap all the way up with... Oh, that top's nice, isn't it? really like that top. Um, yeah, definitely soap with the with the five percent rather than the three for this one uh, because it's really nice. It's just very subtle. Like it's even subtle for me. I can I can barely I can't smell it here. I have to actually bring it up to my nose to smell it. And when you do, it's actually quite nice. And you know I would never recommend. It's got like. It's a little bit different colour just down here, but really, I mean, we'll see, I guess. I will, um, I'll, uh, if, if it discolours way more uh, by the time I edit this video, <laughs> because I have a lot of vid videos to edit, um, I'll add a little video and show you, a little bit on the end and show you, but otherwise, that's perfect. So, okay, I will we'll either see you shortly for an update or I'll see you for the next one. Bye.